Jump in the Lexus kids, it's back, the cab or a cab. Hola, Espanol. Hola, como estas? Donde esta en the hombre? Mm. I don't know what that is. It's from a Jerry Halliwell song. <laughs> it means oh. I am here. <laughs> We are in the Lexus right now with the leather interior and si. cup holders. How long have you been in Australia? I landed yesterday. Yeah. And I have visited a couple of places like the Adelaide Zoo, but yes. I, yeah, this is my first time in Adelaide, which is I have really to say, good. I'm liking this. This oh. are you, do you clipper or are you si. a nair? No, 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 no. Not near. Not in there, because it gets rid of the fake tan. Oh, yeah. How yes. much fake tan? What, now, what, what shade do you do? I like to go a lot mahogany. <laughs> I like to go the darkest as possible, and then I scrub it off. It makes it look the most ah. authentic for the performance. But it's, really, it's no Trump. I'll say that. <laughs> yes. You're looking good. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yes, exactly. He's not tan. He's orange. We're not going to build a wall around this interview, <laughs> I've got to say. Now, yeah. as a welcome to South Australia, I've got a little <laughs> goodie basket for you. Oh, my bad. Would you like a little bit of a Bigfoot's drink? Sí. Ginger beer? When? Or oh. lemon, lime mm. and bitters? I think I stick with the ginger. Ginger beer? Sí, yeah. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, mm. delicious, delicious. Mm. So... Okay, I heard that you know my ex-husband, Ricky Martin. What Your ex-husband? Yeah, we were married. Did I know this? Well, he's my ex now. Okay, so, okay, you know. okay. Well, yes, How do I you know. know him? Should we tell the whole story? We can tell uh, uh, Part the bridge of the story. version. Okay, so basically we were together. Uh, I grew up in Spain. Oh. And growing no, up. not together. Growing okay. up, growing up, being friends, young boys, and uh, we were together in the band Menudo. Yes. Did you know them? Yeah, he was yes. in a boy band. Yes. Yeah. That you was were my in band. The band. Yes. Okay. I you took know, over someone, but Menudo I, did a cover of Xanadu. They actually. did. I pay homage to that in the show. Do you? I do. Okay. Because it is an Australian song. Yeah. Because it's Olivia Newton John. See, si. exactly. So I, I pay a little bit of homage to that, which is awesome. But yes, in Menudo. We were together, not together. I know he likes men, I don't. Not and, yet. Uh, well, I, I, I tend to seduce whoever I can, really. We'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, this is, I mean, I've already given you a ginger I beer. I know. Is it alcoholic? No, but, you know, just imagine. <laughs> see. But yes, that's how I met him. And Well, I don't want to give too much away because this show is the true essence of my story with Ricky Martin. Um, okay. How would you describe your relationship now? Is it, it is quite tender. It's on, it's on the rocks. Fractions? Fractions, see. Okay. Yeah. Tell me, I have to say, there was a glorious moment in pop history, mm. like at the end of the 90s, mm -hmm. when everybody was Latino for mm. a while. See. What do you remember about that era? I remember that I became, no, in the 90s actually, I was touring around Latin America doing musical theater. Yeah. So I was not in the pop scene as much. Um, I wrote a couple of songs, but they didn't really get picked up. And um, Ricky actually stole a couple of my songs to produce. In like the which 90s. ones? I, I cannot say because he claims them for his own, but I would, I would like to. Mm, mm, mm. And in, mm. That is a tender one for me. Let's not sing it. Okay. Yes. But yeah. but that is what I remember from that. And But yes, yeah, so I wasn't really in the scene, but I did write a few songs that were produced in the 90s. So uh, J-Lo? is one of my best friends. Okay. Tell I toured how, with her yeah. uh, in Menudo. We yeah. were a support act on her first ever world tour. Yes. And, uh, and one night after the show, like... Really? One thing to another, we were having paella and... How did she not marry you? She well, marries everybody else. Uh, I was too young for her. I, was I don't know 15. if that's true. It is. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> I know some of her, you know... I mean, not now. Mm. Isn't she going out with that baseball player now? I do not keep up with her. Or A -Rod. What's his name? A-Rod. A-Rod? Yeah. A-Rod? A-Rod. <laughs> Not as in a rod. His name's A Rod. His right. name's Alex Rodriguez. A Rod. You see, A Rod is good. Yeah. Yeah. 
tell me, what can we see in your show? What sort of songs? I do a lot of Latin songs. Yeah. A lot of traditional Spanish songs that I've made into Latin pop culture, like uh, She Bangs and The Cup of Life and Waiting for Tonight and... Ule Noche Mas. Do you know the Spanish version? Yeah. Yes, it's a good version, but people here don't understand, so I sing it in the, yeah. the English. Um, but I also play homage to, uh, I, I was in El Phantom de Opera for a little bit. <laughs> so I do one song from that, a duet with uh, my co-star, Christina Aguilera, yep. who is here in the hotel. So she uh, is I, I I love there. the hero. She was trying to convince everyone she was Spanish as well for a while. No, she's she? not. But yeah, she's I close. Uh, what was that? Ven conmigo, ven conmigo, baby. Oh, ven conmigo, ven conmigo, baby. Sí. I love that. that track. Yeah, that's good. Mm. I have Abba Gold, actually, in Spanish. It's sí. very nice. Yeah. Gracias por la música. <laughs> that is beautiful. Yeah. I think, do you know who Abba is? I don't know who Abba is. You'd like them. Right. I, I've got a feeling you dress like an Abba fan. Really? Yeah. Where are they from? Sweden. Oh, Swedish. Sometimes I do not understand what they're saying, so okay. I, I get I know, but, yeah. lost in translation yeah. a little bit. Yeah. See. I mean, those accents. <laughs> yes. Please. Can you teach me some Spanish? Of course. My most handy phrase, I actually have um, a seduction technique that I've been working on for yes. years. Yes, yeah. Uh, and the way that I pick up women, but I'm sure it would be for men, women, people in between, whatever. I it's all the same. Uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, I say mis últimos. Mis últimos. There we go. Resultados. Resultados. Sí. Indican. Indican. Nada. Nada. Intratable. Intratable. See, sí, very good. I tell you, in English it means uh, my most recent test results show nothing untreatable. Oh, I like that. Yes. How do I say in Spanish, mm. it's nothing penicillin won't clear up? I do not know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's cut that bit out. Yeah, <laughs> we can Google it. We can Google it. Um, Ryan, mm -hmm. honey, who else are you looking forward to seeing at the Cabaret Festival? I am looking forward to seeing... I think Dalesk is going to be beautiful. Yeah. I love that idea, that concept. Yeah. Um, I wish I could have seen Christy Willem Brown yeah. right at the beginning. I love her. And I love Gillian Cosgrave uh -huh. as well. I think her comedy is beautiful. Yes. And she's hysterical. Um, yeah, and I also wish that I could have seen Ali McGregor. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm surprised you haven't. She, she gets around. Awesome. She oh, well, I saw her today in the morning. Yeah, at the breakfast. Yeah, the breakfast. Yeah, nice. She okay. was eating. Yeah, good. All right, well, I think we're going to drop you off at your theatre. Yes. So you can do your show. Yes. And wow, the audience is of so. Adelaide. Yes. And if not, well, it's Adelaide, so nobody will find out. No, they're great. The audiences are great. Good, mm. good. I like it. Also, let me ask you, how many how many times a week do you have to shave? I shaved this morning. Yeah, I yeah. thought so. And now it's already... Yeah. Eight o'clock shadow, I call You're it. a real man. Z. Si. Yes. Yeah. 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 You're welcome. One of the things we are fond of in Australian entertainment, mm. well, we're fond of a few things. We're fond of giving sports people every media opportunity mm. that's ever exist, you know, because that makes sense. Mm. Uh, we're also fond of turning great musicals, um, like Jesus Christ Superstar, yes. or Grease, mm. and then putting them into what we call is an arena spectacular. Mm. Not, not a Tina arena spectacular. Yes. But that's just weird. That is what I do. That is my job yeah. in Spain. See, I've been touring for about five years. Yeah. And then my arena spectacular, Hispanic Attack. Um, and I, I, you know, the problem with Australians is they're not very cultured in the Latin music. And, that's true. And they don't, they don't really even use know who Selena anymore. is. I know. Like who? They don't even they don't even pick on pick up on the the idiosyncrasies and the. They think Latin music is turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, set down. That's not Latin music. That's not. But it's not all that tacky. It's very important. There's there's quite a message behind it. The message yes. is turn the beat around. Well, it is. Yeah. Turn it up. Turn it upside turn down. It up. <laughs> yes, exactly. Are you doing an arena spectacular here? Here's the problem. My arena spectacular show was meant to play here all year yeah uh, but something has happened the mix-up miscommunication my manager uh, he tell me last week that my my show has been transferred to uh, the art space which has at, a maximum um, capacity of a hundred seats right okay. but it's okay like I'm spreading the music I'm spreading the love the Latin love and the fever and everything and how big is your band so 
It's just my pianist and me on stage. Okay, but that can work. Like, it's beautiful. Everyone loves it. And by the end... It's still the energy of an arena spectacular. Well, yes, that's what I hope to encompass. And I feel like I'm trying to do that and make Latin music the most popular pastime in Australia. Whether it's a cabaret show or the arena spectacular, it doesn't matter. What sort of Australian artists do you think could go Latin? I actually pay homage to Australians in my show and... Uh, I think um, ACDC yeah. has some, yeah. you know. You strike me as a bit ACDC. I am. As well. I, I like a little bit of ACDC. Yeah, yeah. I sing a little bit in my show, and um, I do a little bit of uh, Kylie Minogue. You could add a Latin beat under there. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. She 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 could move her hips and be the sexy woman that she is. Who else do I think? Oh, Gautier. Oh, now you've got somebody. Yes, you do know somebody. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that would be good. That would be good. That would be good. Actually, it needs a bit of cheering up. Yeah, I, I think, think so too. Yeah. He's very... Yeah, yeah. See ya. All of them. See ya. I learn a lot from Chandelier. You. Yeah. Turn it into a Latin beat. That would be sexy. I wanna swing. From the chant, that would be heaven. That would be good. Get the maracas going. We could write a show together. I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. You can get all of it up. Yeah, I could. I could. I mean, it'd be a stretch for me. And I only charge seventy percent, which is probably less than the cabaret festival. I don't know how much they take. Well, who cares, really? You're here for the love, and you've got your ginger beer, so yeah. It's been it's been a win all round. Thank you so much. Ryan, thank you for joining me. Thank Enjoy you. your show tonight. I will. Give it to them. Thank you very Give much. Muy bien. Have a lovely night. Thank you. Thank you. I like your satin. <laughs>